We finally have shells. Finally. 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 Yeah, she asked for them like three days ago and now she's like, why did it take so long? And like most of my projects, I overthunk this one. I, uh, Nancy wanted me to use just these, hey, I got these brackets, just put them up, put up a shelf. And I even spray painted them all pretty and teal. Yeah, and they would have worked, but they wouldn't have been what we wanted at the end. And it would have been another temporary thing. And it would have lasted forever because it would have worked. Yep, and it's not probably. what we wanted. You're probably so, right. It took a little bit extra time. I built these shelves uh, really happy with the way they turned out. Me too. I am particularly thrilled with the fact that all of the stuff up here was on the counter. Yeah, it definitely cleared up. Makes off the it so much more like a kitchen and not just a. I don't know. And now, the video. Today, I'll be t taking this fiberglass cap off the top inside front here. I think we want to mount a TV there, but for sure we want to put a shelf up here to hold some plants so we don't have plants all over, <laughs> all over everywhere. <laughs> Now, I would like to think that this shelf is going to get rid of some of these plants, but chances are just going to give her a place to put more. Either way, I'm going to try to get this off now. See how it goes. And why is the left blinker light on? Oh, because I have the oh. power turned back on to run the shades. Okay. I don't know why it's on, because it's broken, but I'll figure that out before we roll again. You got some time. If it means anything, it broke like within sight of the wizard's lair. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but turn the left to pull into his place is when it broke. Maybe he's bad luck. He was just got some mojo around there to get more business. I don't know if this is the business he would want though. I don't know. Again, it's bust? Yeah, I don't know if that's the business he'd want either. Everybody really like the sound of that screwdriver hitting that screen, right? Yeah. ASMR, whatever they call that. <laughs> I have no idea. I know what you speak of, but I don't know what you speak of. I have to really like whisper when I do my work. Oh my gosh. So shut up. I think it's all held up by one screw right now. Are you sure you don't want it? It's too late. Okay. Now I could use your help probably because this <laughs> that plug-in doesn't fit through the hole for some reason. Ah, oh, that's using my head. <laughs> oh my god, you're such a dork. Ah. Oh. Oh. Just then. So what what are what are we doing? What's going on? So here? one of the cows are out. So Steve ran is going back behind that cow to try to push it down to the road and bring it this way. Blue, even though it's not feeding day, put a bucket of feed on the front of the Kubota. So now all the cows see the feed. He's hoping the cow that's over there sees the feed too, and we can get him back into the gate. Okay, so he's out and around on he's the outside out around. of the fence. I also before blue got here, I was these cows were coming this way. He told me to make sure these, those cows didn't come out. Oh, it didn't come out of. But once blue got here with the truck and the food. Okay. Those cows didn't come out anymore. They yeah. were. They say, "Hey, hungry food. You're wagging <laughs> out. Your food is is in." But the other one's back on the hill there, and I saw it moving, and I saw Steve behind it, and then I didn't see it again, so I don't know. She knows what she wants.
is that if the microphone is pointed at me and the wind is blowing at me, the microphone will pick up me and not the wind so much. Well, we'll see. So we are, we, Andy's cutting steel today to make shelves in the kitchen, finally. We're finally getting something done. I feel like we've been here forever. But we've gotten other things done for other people, so that's a good thing. Um, I want to try cutting that, that V. That's about where I want it. So how big a curve do we want? Like the size of a coffee cup? Like the thing below? That's what I yeah. used to measure the thing below yeah. was a coffee mug. So how many, how many V's does that take? <laughs> that is a good question. Probably took out too much metal, but <laughs> that's not a terrible bend to it, though. That'll good enough. I think that'll work. No, I think that looks nice. I think I'm gonna From weld the front, it. That looks nice. Working with steel is something new to me, and yeah, it's not really that that new to me. I've welded exhaust and welded things my whole life, or my whole adult life, but. I've never had a welder until recently to actually like build in things that I designed out of steel and where am I going with this? Oh yeah. <laughs> I I'd never made a bend before in steel, a curve. So I wanted to make sure I could do that before I cut the rest of the steel for the project. Now that the bend worked, it took a little more welding to fill in the, the gaps than it probably should have, but now that I knew that was gonna work, it was time to cut the rest of the steel. I don't know why I'm looking off camera over there. inches times three. Mm, no. Times two? You only have two you and they're ten. You and passed four. the test. I did a Brenda on you. But oh. I actually did I actually purposely did it. <laughs> Eight times three. Mm. Okay. You're really close to me but the cord's so short that cows. I know.
don't have any open ends. Yeah, that'll look good. And then grind and whatnot, obviously. While we were putting the shelves in the kitchen, um, our friend's shipping container was getting spray foam. You know, the whole reason we came down here, the shipping container. Yeah, which means sheetrock time is going to be coming really soon, and I needed to get these shelves, I was hoping, up before sheetrock came. <laughs> I was hoping too. And sheetrock is, hanging sheetrock isn't the end of the world, it's hold up this heavy thing and pound a bunch of nails in, but... Mudding. I, I hate mudding. Luckily, Steve likes mudding, so... <laughs> he can have that job all to himself. So if we don't get it done before the sheetrock goes up, I got time during the mud. Mm-hmm. hiding back behind the bus because it's like the only place where I can get away from the Oklahoma wind. Um, after cutting that first board, I'm, I'm still not used to working without some kind of large or at least medium sized workshop around me. Uh, our old house, I had my table saw, then I had a four foot by three and a half foot outfeed table behind that and I could space them apart. I could put a four by eight sheet of anything up there and support it so I could use a router on any part of it. I can't do that with just the table saw and I'm going to do the second one quite a bit more smartly. More smarter. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be better. Tracing out the shape and cutting it with the jigsaw should be so much easier. to use a foam brush but this is the third one the same brush for coat three so it's gonna be trash by the end of it though feel soft it's really pretty this really won't be able to, well that one actually might be able to see when it's hung I'm happy man I get near and quiet the music going
Stay on this old house. We're hanging sheep. <laughs> you ought to get somebody out the window. <laughs> you gonna be able to get in with that box there? Yeah. Oh. Sweating again. <laughs> it's a good workout. You get two more, I'll need a lot of cutting. Well, I won't need much to cut into that one. Oh, you're going to have to get that one out of there. When I was editing this last clip, I realized how out of shape I am. Yes. <laughs> got to start some exercise routine pretty yes. quick here. The nice you thing do. is... You know what I said. I said we. I'm sorry. I, know. I wouldn't I know you let said you we. hang there. With three solid days of rain and freezing rain, it got a little bit soft. We're stuck <laughs> between say it mildly. Yeah. left front tire was 11 inches deep once we got it out and I was able to measure it and yeah back tires weren't in much better shape either way Steve's Dodge Ram pulled it really nicely yeah yeah, yeah I'd say for a truck that was uh battery and the camera died mm -hmm. yep either way i got out thank you steve i couldn't have got out without your <laughs> ram and yeah we're on i don't know i can see the spot right there we used to be we're only about 30 feet to the side of where we were but we're on gravel now instead of i don't know what kind of clay red what, dirt yeah whatever the red dirt is in oklahoma yeah it's uh it holds water for a long time and oh well we're in a better place we're in a better position now, in a flatter position now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, much more level and on sturdy ground. Yeah. I don't know how best to do this. I wish I could drill through from this side, but my drill doesn't fit in here. I never even thought of that before. I mean, it's open from the back side. It's easy enough to 
We're trying to get holes to line up drilling through from the backside on their side of the wall is next to impossible too. Yeah. Hold this up. Do we have a pencil that'll reach through a quarter inch hole? We probably have a pencil. Anything to make it work? I should. off to the side like you're lucky you made it yeah that's life at least it's through the steel that'll hold the shelf I can see through it I don't know what I'm looking at but I can see it hey I think that was you hey, probably was. can you see me I, I turned my back to you oh well thanks you're welcome You want to grab that side? I'll grab this side. We'll just kind of see how many of these line up well enough to use. That one went easy. Easy enough. Probably just let yeah. you in and hold this corner up, or you can hold your I own corner up. I don't know if that needs to be. Is that because it's not pulled back? That there, that's the problem. There, that one's in. Okay. Where I want the thing to yeah. be. Yeah. Where how high you think the shelf needs to be? Oh jeez. Like. I think we could get away with it being there. There's enough space between the KitchenAid. Right at the screw right lines? Right at the screw lines. <laughs> that was like a screw you look. <laughs> Did you like that? Yeah. Okay. I think just gluing it on with clear silicone is going to work the best. Came out fast. Someone painted black near this. In the wind. Yeah, in the wind. Good thing no one will ever see the top. We'll just show it like this. Do we have heavy stuff to put on here, or should I go to get a bunch of clamps? Um, it depends on what you think is heavy. Kind of hollow for it to go into there. It's clear, right? Right. Plumbing parts? Plumbing parts. Hardware? Hardware. Everything you wanted in your kitchen. And that's where we're at. I'm really glad to have uh, shelves up here. I am. I, it, I, I really had gotten used to always having my stuff right just right here to grab when I'm cooking. So I just... <laughs> I'm glad we didn't do it with like a temporary shelf or something. Mm -hmm. that's... Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. Not... As much as I really just wanted... As much as I wanted the instant gratification of having a shelf and all my shit up off the counter right away, I'm glad I had the patience to wait because I really do like them. I really like them. They're pretty much exactly what I wanted in the end. I mean, when we were finally due shelves. And now I can't wait to decide what the hell I want to put on the wall back here. I don't know. No. And the shelf for the front, it's not done. It's... uh. 
it ended up being larger. The design ended up increasing in size, but we have four by eight sheet goods to get in and out that front door still. And I don't know if I need a shelf in my way for I that. I think it would get awfully close um, to impossible to get stuff in and out the door with that because we use a lot of that space. I know yeah. we've hit the ceiling there a couple times. Yeah. So to do the shelf, once we realized we were going to make it larger, and what we were really going to do for a design to do it didn't make any sense. No, it's so, just going to have to wait. It's there. It looks lovely and spray foamy. Yeah. And uh, it's just going to stay that way until we're done. Yeah, it's not the next thing on the list, that's for sure. It's not. It is not. It's not the most important. I know what the most important thing on the list is, and that's next. Hot yeah. showers. Hot showers. Oh, flushing toilet. It's next. Flush. Ooh, yes. That's that before the shower. I'm, I'm, all, I, shower I'm all right with the toilet before the shower. I can deal with with sun warmed water in the hose. It's going to be nice here for another couple weeks. Yeah. So. Either way. No more hose showers. And no more composting toilet. Yeah. But. Hmm. That's going to be nice. It's something you really take for granted when you live in a house. It's just a toilet. You can just walk <laughs> in, sit down, flush the toilet, and you're done. I can't wait to poop in water. <laughs> Oh, my nose can't wait for you to poop in water again. <laughs> Jesus. We're probably getting too much information here. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for watching our video. Until next time. Bye. Peace. Mm -hmm.